Nacho. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel and you're welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing? So guys, today I'm going to be answering some questions that I've been getting from you guys in the comment section and of course in the DMs, right? These questions have been staring at me like this. Answer me. Yeah, and I'm going to be answering all the questions today for you guys, right? I believe these questions or the answers I'm going to give to these questions based on my experience because I'm not a consultant, a relocation or immigration consultant, right? Based on my experience, these questions I believe will be beneficial to everybody. And so, without further ado, I'm just going to go straight right into the questions. If you've not subscribed, subscribe subscribe to my channel like this video so yeah i'll go to the first question this person said congratulations how many luggage bags are you able to go with i am seeing three and hand luggage over we are allowed to go with two big boxes that should not exceed 23 kg and one hand luggage box that should be between 8 to 12 kg depending on the airline that you are going to use or you are using of course please try as much as possible to make sure that your two big boxes should not be more than 23 kg so just try as much as possible not to exceed that because guys if you do when you get to the airport you're going to be frustrated where i was you're going to freak out so just try to make sure everything is in check weigh your bag before you leaving the house because once you get there and your bag exceeds 23 kg you have to take stuff out you have to reduce the weight right and you, you trust me it's not something you want to do because you might have one that is probably like 25 and you might have the other bag probably like um 22 so you might have to be shuffling 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 oh no don't do that don't do that sis the hand luggage box of course you can put um anything clothes books anything inside apart from perfumes creams stuff like that um i think mugs ceramic then i also had a hand um, a backpack for my computer and just some other stuff so i had two big boxes one hand luggage one backpack and some people even carried one hand bag as well like a hand bag so it depends on you you can go with that but this is where you are supposed to go with and somebody asked me what airline did you use when going i used lufthansa airline that was the airline that i used and of course, somebody also asked, did I go, did I pay for two way? Why would I pay for a two way trip? Wool up, nigga. Wool up, wool up, wool up. Just wool up. Now, let me tell you something because you don't know nothing. I'm not coming back to Nigeria. Please come back to Nigeria. No. One way trip and I'm here, I'm here. I'm not going back anytime soon. Somebody asked me why didn't I quarantine? I didn't quarantine when I got to Canada because I already took my vaccine from Nigeria. Not just one, but the full dose. I was fully vaccinated from Nigeria. And if you are fully vaccinated from anywhere actually, once you come into Canada, you will, of course, they will ask you for a proof of your vaccination. After I was vaccinated, I was given a card so that card of course i have to travel with it you have to travel with your important documents your CRPR documents your passports your proof of vaccination card right so i was with my proof of vaccination card and they were asking at each point at immigration at checking anything everywhere actually that card just exempts you from quarantine yeah so once you get here you can just start going out because you are fully vaccinated if you have just collected one dose you're not going anywhere you're going to quarantine you have to collect the full dose and if you are fully vaccinated you have to wait for two weeks before traveling anything below you are not going anywhere right so you have to wait for the full two weeks after then then you can now travel i think it is worth it to get vaccinated before coming so that you don't have to be in quarantine and you can start going out whenever you want to right somebody said where did i get promo from was it from the african store no it wasn't i brought in promo because <laughs> a rubber game will survive <laughs> i brought in promo from nigeria yeah it was my box I wanted to cargo i know i don't know if you guys know some i don't know if you have just come to this channel for the first time but if you are with me here you would know that i cargoed some things from 
Nigeria here. I was not allowed to cargo promo because they told me that that is a contraband. So I was like, okay, I will travel with it, and I traveled with it. So another person said, did you fly straight to Calgary, and also did you go for study? Man brought me to Canada. <laughs> I came to Canada because of man, <laughs> and I did not fly straight to Calgary. Why didn't you watch my video? Watch my video, cases. Okay, I flew from Nigeria to Frankfurt. It was a six hour flight. I left Nigeria at about 10 45 pm on a Monday. I got to Frankfurt, Germany at about 6 10 or 6 20 am on a. Hey, I don't even know now. Is it Monday or Tuesday? The time difference is just crazy. By now, I go to Frankfurt the next day, which was about 6 10 am. I had a six hour stopover at Frankfurt and then we left Frankfurt at about 2 pm. But by the time we got to Calgary, it was like just 5 p.m. in the evening here on a Tuesday. So I did not fly straight to Calgary. There's no straight flight from Nigeria to Canada. It's not possible. I don't think so. I stand to be corrected. Somebody said, how long did it take to get my passport back? I want to believe this is when I got my PPR. I got my PPR in July. I think on July 7. And I sent my passport and I got it back in september so it took august like two months let's just say two months right somebody is asking how many months did it take for them to tell you to submit your passport to Ghana, accra ghana i did my medicals in february and from february i waited till july before i got that request to submit my passport to ghana so that would be march april may june july it took them five months it's not easy <laughs> somebody is asking about the shipping so i put the number of the cargo company i always i replied i put it there and they were so fast i sent it and it got to my husband in like three days right if you want doorstep no problem you just pay some extra coins i know some of you are capable but if you want to pick it up it's totally free you just have to pay for your clearance right you have to clear it when it gets here somebody is asking if i must blend my obono and ebusi seeds i don't know if you have a way to blend it here by all means please so somebody asks which of the medical centers is best to use that's rude which of the medical centers is best to use in Lagos for IRTC medical examination? I don't think there is any other medical examination center apart from the two that I know, which is um, QLife and IOM Mark. Those are the two that I know actually that you find on the websites. And QLife is on the island, IOM Mark is on the mainland, and I live on the mainland, so I went to the place closest to me, right? So anything that is close to you i think they are all good i don't think they'll recommend a shabby medical center for you they are good it's just maybe the location that will determine where you should use and somebody is asked somebody asked or somebody is asking right how was knowledge test well it's a computer based test it is not time bound you have 30 questions and you have to pass 25 right if you do not pass 25 you're going to fail it and you have to write it again so for each time you write it you have to pay 20 dollars to be able to write it so if you fail it you have to pay 20 dollars again and you can write it every day you can write it two times three times a day but you can write it every day right so if you fail today you can write it tomorrow and that was how that was what happened to me but i failed i think on thursday i wrote on i went again on friday and then on saturday and then i passed and the questions are not really what you are used to especially if you are coming from where i'm coming from nigeria so you have a book that has all the information to read on it's a lot but trust me if you read it you're fine so it's just basically um what are some road signs who has the right of way at its intersection all that stuff about driving so that is what it's about somebody is asking in fact a lot of people ask this question because it was a vlog where i said my brother-in-law brought in puke milk from for me from nigeria and the person said you said your brother-in-law brought milk for you is milk allowed in the aircraft i thought it wasn't allowed like i mean milk camillo or bombita just want to be sure please he brought it that is all i can say he brought it period <laughs> Somebody said you did not even show us your brother that you guys went to pick. 
guys if you want to see him you need to pay me some coins he's an handsome eligible young man young bachelor so guys that is the end of all the questions that i received others that i received i believe that i've responded to each and every one of them in a nutshell if you're going to come here please your bag should not exceed 23 kg so that you don't freak out at the airport trying to shuffle or paying extra money for extra luggage except if you can afford it a big rich auntie big rich uncle as for me i couldn't <laughs> So I just had to drop them behind, right? Don't start packing. You're not even going to need it. You're not going to need it, basically. You're going to have to come and shop all over here again. Or you might shop from Nigeria, like for sweaters, but I did not even bother doing that. I just came and I bought everything here because I was just trying to reduce the kg of my bags, right? So please lock your bags as well if you're coming. I forgot to lock my bag because I was freaked out and I just practically forgot. Although nothing happened to my box, but to be on the safe side, get small little padlocks and lock your bags. Be sure to bring or to travel with all your important documents. Don't forget to bring your adapter. Or is it adapter? I don't even know now because the socket is different. And if you are bringing in anything that is from Nigeria, you're going to need it. My ring light, like I said, is an example. Remember to bring your driver's license as well because you're going to be needing it. Please carry your charger because you can charge your phone on the flight. Right, don't forget your moisturizers because it's very cold here. Your body is going to get dry, your skin is going to get dry. Don't forget your hair products. Don't forget food. There are some food that is not allowed as you guys know, diary products. I'll put a link to my video on all the things on how I prepared to come to Canada as regards buying food stuff and all of that. It's not like you can't get them here, you can, but it's quite expensive and I can't really vouch for the quality of those food stuff like palm oil. I can't vouch for the quality, you know you get better quality back home in Nigeria. You might get here but I can't really vouch for it, right? so thank you guys for watching and guys guys we are close to 2k please subscribe if you have not should i sing for you before you subscribe we're best friends now aren't we so please subscribe to my channel so i hit 2k soon and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video